Yeah. Guys, we got two different types of baits that we're gonna use to try to catch these possums. We don't know which one works better. All right, use this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, we're gonna use this one right here. Yeah. Yeah. What's going on, guys? It's your boy, the Iguana Man. We're back at y'all with another video. So over here, we're at my uncle's house right now. And apparently, there has been a serious problem out. There's animals coming out, wrecking the whole entire backyard at night. We don't know what it is, but we have traps and we have some bait so we're gonna go ahead, set the traps, hopefully catch the animals, and whatever we catch, I told my uncle, we're gonna do a catch, clean, and cook on it. So stay tuned, let's set these traps, and let's see what we can catch. We got like three more traps, so we're gonna set them all up to increase our odds. Okay, so right now, we are in the wilderness. We got our sardines right here, and we got our trap. So we're gonna go ahead and open this bad boy up. Oh man, look at that. We're gonna spread a little juice around the area. We're gonna taste a piece just to make sure it's tasting good. Ooh, that's fishy, fishy right there. Go ahead and put that inside the trap. Ugh. There we go, just like that. So the bait's in the trap. Whenever, whatever animal goes on that lever to get the bait, trap door is gonna close. We're gonna have ourselves a caught animal. Okay, so now the rule of this challenge is Whatever we catch, we're gonna eat. So, hopefully we don't get no dogs or cats because I don't really feel like eating those. Put a little scent trail everywhere. Get a nice little sardine. These things stink. We're just gonna throw it at the back of the trap. Throw another one in there too. Put, maybe put one around the trap door. So the animal knows that there's food and they'll go in and we'll put them in the bag. So we're with our friend and um, we're checking the trap and guys, I don't know if you guys can see it, but the door is closed and I see a tail, dude. There's oh, yes. Let's see how big yeah, he is. Oh yeah. Look at him. Oh, whoa. whoa oh. Yeah, look at him. Oh, dude, we got one. Yeah. He looks that, big as well. That is feisty. Oh, I got him. I got him. Dude, look at those teeth. Oh, my gosh. So, it, it, it's safe to say that there's definitely a possum problem over here, bro. There's possums everywhere. This is like the fourth one of the day. For real. Dang, not even 24 hours. Oh my God. Oh wow, he's flaring up. Not even 24 hours, y'all. And we've gotten about four or five possums. Wow, look at that, guys. We're gonna go compare them to the other possums. Hey, good job, buddy. Your first catch on your first day. That, that normally doesn't ever happen. Okay, guys. So you guys seen how everything works? We actually set another trap last night. Check it out. We got a big daddy possum. This is a monster. This has got to be the guy that's been out here terrorizing everybody's yards. Check him out. Look at the size of him. Look at the size of the other big one we got. It's like, he's like twice the size right there. That's an absolute beast. So, we got him. He's the one that we're probably going to be doing the catch, clean, and cook on. So, stay tuned. Okay, so right now, moment of truth. It's about seven o'clock in the evening. We're getting hungry and we have these three possums. So we're about to do the dang thing right now. We're gonna be making a Trinidadian delicacy called Manicou. That means possum. And it's gonna be in a curry sauce. So we're gonna get right into preparing these guys for that curry. Let's go. We're gonna be using our gamo to humanely euthanize these possums. So we're not gonna show you guys that. We'll be back when they're all euthanized. Alright. Oh, it's a possum, but we're gonna turn it into a maniku. Flamethrower right here.
You guys seen that? That was kind of a process, but we had him trapped. We put him out, and then uh, we fire roasted all the fur off because we're gonna eat the skin. The skin has a lot of the good flavor, and that's what we want to keep. But here he is, right here. That is insane. That is insane. First time trying it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I know it's a delicacy there in Trinidad. I know people in like the southern states of the United States eats it. Texas, Alabama, um, Georgia. This is a delicacy, so we're gonna go ahead and try it out today, first time. But look at that face right there. That's crazy. And looking at him without the fur, I'm not gonna lie, it kind of looks like a giant rat. But uh, pretty sure it's gonna be tasting really good, so I guess we're gonna have to stay tuned and find out. So, Will, it's a stupid question, but if you were to cook the manico with the rink, what would it, what would happen? It smell high, very high. That's another rink right there, another gland. And that one was right underneath the arm right there. Marinade in cilantro, onions, garlic, and hot pepper. And the curry mixture is three teaspoons of duck and goat curry, two teaspoons of cumin, and grand masala. After the mixture is evenly coated with all the curry, you can add water, add a lid, let it cook down, and repeat the process to make it really soft. You can even add coconut milk to enhance the flavor. The chef is going to go ahead and just make sure everything's on point. Kudos to the chef. Yeah? Perfect. Good. He says perfect. He says perfect. Yeah, the chef is saying good. I'm gonna go ahead real quick and take some out and we are gonna try it out. Is that the tail right there, Will? That's a piece no. of tail? Yes. Yeah. That's, that's tail? Yeah, that try the tail, okay. We're gonna go ahead and put some of it right there and we'll get a couple more. That looks like a good piece right there. So 
we have a we have let me get a piece of the fat a little fatty piece so we're gonna be trying a couple different pieces we got a fatty piece a fleshy piece a bony piece and we have a tail piece so we're gonna get the full experience right here trying this out okay, so typically you would eat this like a regular meal so you would have it with some some roti some rice and some dal but since it is holiday time right now we are trying to watch our weight a little bit we're gonna just eat it the, the the cutter style okay cutters as an appetizer okay let's flip it around and let's try the maniku curry all right looking at it i mean looking like some hog to be honest with you looking like some hog the only thing that's yeah the tail is looking kind of like a pigtail or something like that so i know a lot of you you jamaican people and you coolie people out there y'all like the pigtail and all that stuff so, I mean, possum tail. This is that. But let's go ahead and grab a piece of this. There is the maniku fat right there. Let's go ahead and try some of the fat. Okay. Off rip, I got one word to describe how maniku fat tastes. Like park, okay? oink oink wild hog whatever you want to call it bacon uh this is what it's tasting like right there the fat tastes just like pig fat that's pretty interesting hey okay, right here we got a fleshy piece right there we got the meat got some bone no skin no fat let's go ahead and give this bad girl a try right As you can see right there, the meat, it kind of looks like goat meat. Kind of like goat meat. It's, it's got a little, it's a little pink in the middle. But yet again, I'm getting the flavor of pork. Interestingly enough, ain't got no gamey flavor. No gamey taste, no gamey smell, nothing. It's got perfect balanced seasoning. Shout out to the chef Uncle Willie. And the curry. A very intricate, diverse uh, fusion of flavors, spices, and extracts. And the meat is just absolutely tender. Look at that. Just one bite. No resistance. Because what we did is we, 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 we cooked it down in the curry. We added some water. And then we cooked it down even more so it got real soft. Put the lid on it. Kind of like a pressure cooker. And then we added some coconut it's milk. Goat. It's got kind of like, like, like strong bones. But it's got like that kind of hue in it. Just like goat meat. But it's a lot softer though, a lot softer. Mmm, that is some good stuff right there. That right there, guys, you already know what that is right there. Look at that. That is the possum tail right there. I don't even know if you're supposed to be eating this, to be honest with you. See, there's a layer of fat. There's a single bone in the middle and it's got meat. So if this is anything like any kind of tail meat. As we know that the, the tail of the iguana is the best part to eat. Maybe the tail of the maniku is the best part to eat. So far, the body is tasting like hog, like pork. It's really good. It's, the meat is sweet. The meat's tender. So let's go ahead and let's try the possum's tail. Got, got a little bit of possum tail right here. Isn't that crazy? What the meat looks like on in the inside, y'all. It's got the single bone. It's got some weird kind of uh, kind of like textured kind of meat inside there. It, it's, it's not bad. And it's got fat on it right there. Um, it doesn't taste like gamey or anything like that. It, it, it tastes really good. It's just, uh, it's more of a fatty, dry bite. It's got like a lot, it's like you're eating like fat. But uh, there is some muscle in there. You gotta remember, these possums tails are prehensile. Which means they can use it like fingers to kind of grip on branches and kind of balance it and stuff like that. So there is some muscle in there. So it, it, it's not bad. It's not bad. I'll give it that. The bone and there you have it right there. It's basically kind of like bacon. It's got a lot of fat. It's got some meat in it. Uh, it's actually really, really good. I thought it was going to be really weird. But it's it's surprisingly tasty.
Okay, well, that's all I have for you guys today. We showed you guys how to catch the possum, how to clean the possum, how to cook the possum, and of course, we ate the possum. Like I said, in Trinidad, where I'm from, they call possums manicus. Not quite sure why, but if you know, drop some comments down below. Is, possums, to me, it tastes like hog. It's got very delicate meat. It's got nice fat, just the same type of features that makes hog absolutely delicious. We're talking about your bacon, your ham, all that stuff. Why you like that stuff is this, probably the same reason why you would like to eat possum. Mild tasting meat, high fat content equals very tasty entree, okay? We had it right there. My uncle chefed it up, seasoned it up for y'all. Threw it down with the curry. That thing was bussing. Perfect, balanced, seasoned. Want to give a special thanks to him. Well, there you guys have it. Um, we're going to be doing some more catch, clean, and cooks. Comment down below some suggestions you guys want to see me and my family do. It's the Iguana Man signing out. We will see you on the next video.